Hey guys, thanks for reading my live section on Saturday Sunday where I showed you how to create amazing visualization with the help of simple data. A lot of people have asked me for the recording. What I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to redo the thing what I have did in the section and show it to you. Okay, let's jump there. So as you know, for this example, we are going to use a tool called Tableau. Before we start, you should know some basics. A data science project goes through six steps. Business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. In the given example, we are going to focus on the first two steps of business understanding. I'm going to showcase you the use case and data understanding. We are going back and explaining to the stakeholder what kind of data do we have. Okay. The data science project starts from understanding the business, right? So here we have put an example of a company called Delta Fast, which is a startup which operates and manufactures, assembles commercial aircraft. So what are they going to do? Let's understand the problem they have. So the top management has decided a high level meeting with everybody to do a budgeting section for the next year to understand which airline, which client are helpful, are important for us. So we have to create a dashboard for these people who can do a better decision making for the next year. So based on that, I have identified few KPIs for my dashboard. For example, number of aircraft operated per airline, total international miles flown per airline, number of order placed per airline, and four other KPIs which I have kept for you to try at your own space. Okay, now let's do in Tableau. Okay, so as I had shared, Tableau is a reporting tool. Tableau has two versions of it, an enterprise version of it and, and a community version of it. The community version is called Tableau Public. So you have to go and download the Tableau Public. The one what I have done, the example is based on Tableau Public. Okay. The GUI of Tableau Public and the enterprise version is very similar to each other. Okay. So this is the data set what you would, I will, I'll attach the data set link also in the description. So I have few data set, for example, total operating fleet, order cost, international miles, airline craft. In, okay, so go and look into the data. So what I'll do, I'll open Tableau public. So this is something what, what I have already downloaded and installed. So the first example which I'm working on right now is to understand number of aircraft operated per airline. Let's go back because my data is in CSV. That's why I'm going to use text file. And I will say that to know total operating. So I'm going to know the total operated. So it is in this file, total operating fleet. Let's open this. So if you see, this is the first view of the data. The, it shares me the metadata information of the data, how many columns I have. So I have somewhere around five columns, year, total operating fleet, airline, flight number, date, and it also shows me a sample data of that. It also tells me what is the data type of the data. If you see this, it says that it is the date. This is the string. This is string two. This one, the total operating fleet, which is a number, it considers it as a string. So this is going to be a problem when I'm creating a report. So I'm going to convert it to a whole number. Now I'll go and click on sheet. So for to know what are the airlines, what are the aircraft operated per airlines, let me go bring airline in column and the total operating fleet to the row. So it gives me a beautiful bar chart. Now to, to see what are the options available in terms of visualization. So it would automatically, if you go to show me, it will go into tell me what are the available options based on this data set, what kind of visualization I can create. So because I want to be a bit different from the other peers and try to make sure that I create something unique, which Excel cannot do or something like that. So I'm, crea I'm creating a stack, stack view of the visualization, which is very unique, but it looks amazing. For a better understanding, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a filter also, stating that I just want the top five airlines with their operating fleet. So it tells me the top five airlines are 
American, United, Southwest, Delta, and US Airways. But still, I just want to know the numbers too. It's very easy. I can take the total operating fleet, put into the label. Then I tell it's going to tell me the actual numbers. But if you want, instead of seeing the actual, the whole, the whole thing, 17,951, and you want to convert into 18K or some 14K kind of stuff, you can do that too. You have to do a right click, click on format. Here in the default, click numbers, click custom. I'm going to put the code saying X, X, X. Okay, so now it has converted into the abbreviation of K. So 17,900 becomes 18K, 15K, 14K, 12K, 7K. But still the, the colors are very similar to each other. It is just a gradient color of blue. To change the color of all the companies, of all the airlines, what I'm going to do, I'm take airline and put into the colors. And automatically it will change all the colors. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll change the, the report name. I'll click here. I'll say number of airline. I'll just say one more thing. Yes, it is top five view. So, so that the management know it's a top five view. Okay, let's go to the next next report. Okay, for the next report, I will click on the tableau symbol, and I'll say that I want to create total international miles flown per airline. No problem. Again, text file. The data is in international miles. Hit open. Now you would know. So this is the first view. I'm can I can see the metadata information. The the sample row information here also there is the same issue the miles are considered into string i'll convert into the whole number go to my sheet take airline and the miles i'll keep the similar view but i will sort it so that people can see exactly okay and i'll make it in a a pivot this like this and I will put forward the miles information in the labels so that people can see. And I will change the sheet name too. Here also, just to make sure that it can accommodate and I can see, I'll say top five view. So for that, I can, I'll do the same thing. I'll put into filter top by five okay cool. next one number of order placed per airline so for that again i will go click here click on this order this is the first view and this is the row number the row views okay here there is an issue Right, I have the orders, I can see the orders, but at the same time, I don't have the airline name because the airline name here is in code, the, the, the flight number. To get the airline name, what I can do, I can bring airline into the data sheet. So it has brought airline now. So if you go to the entity relationship, it, you will see that it has very smartly, it has understood that in, uh, in order cost, there's a column called flight num in airline there's a column called flight flight num it, it has joined that these two fields if you want you can add more joining fields also okay it is it is showing the relationships too now this is the airline this is the airline uh, row samples if you see that as flight number there's airline and the parent airline here this one is my order cost let's go and click on new sheet what I will do, I would try to understand based on the airline. So I'll bring airline here and the orders which are being placed. It says that there are few nulls. So of course there are few airlines. Somebody would have brought it from their own personal gauge, but not from the through airline. So I'll say that just filter out. I just want the airlines. Okay. Again, this is a bar chart. To, but I, I, I want the exact numbers of it. So what I'll do, I'll first sort it. Okay, I understood that line has the 
biggest order i'll say that in show me can i can i see in based on like this or like this but still in a sorted manner okay perfect now i'll say number of order placed by a line take it here put it here amazing to make sure that these numbers are clearer what i'll do i'll say format font make it bold if possible increase the size to 11 perfect so that i can see clearly okay cool now let's create a dashboard i click on dashboard i'll bring all the kpis one by one into the dashboard the first one is the number of aircraft operated by airline okay i won't need the legend so i'll delete the container i'll bring total number total international flight flown again i won't need the legend but the legend doesn't didn't came also number of orders placed like this right okay and at the same time what i'll do i will put a text file as a title for the dashboard i'll say management report for planning next for planning next year i'll just put it like this i'll make it black bold make it 20 uh, at least 40 bring it in the center okay i'll make it a bit smaller okay. i'll make this thing bit smaller okay perfect now this is my report if you want to save this report you have to just go to file file save as to tableau public it's going to ask you to sign in so i already have signed in so i'll just say airline report version 2 and save this so once it saves it is going to give me a link perfect it's going to the tab of public now and if you want you can share this link to anybody like this and i'll put this link in the description box also thank you guys thank you guys for seeing the whole video if you have reached till here you would be able to create the tableau dashboard by yourself what i'm going to do is that i'm going to give you the data the tableau public link and all the other link which is required for this report if you have any concern any questions put forward a question in the comment section i'll give my feedback to it i'll see you in the next video bye bye